Health officials have a strong belief that the COVID-19 strain that is circulating in communities on St. Kitts is different to what was captured during 2020. St. Kitts and Nevis's Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws said samples of the current COVID-19 strain that is circulating have been sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, for genomic sequencing, a process that would reveal the type of COVID-19 in circulation. During a recent NEOC COVID-19 briefing, Dr. Laws explained more. When we get those results, we'll be able to share with the public more information regarding the strain of the COVID-19 virus that is in circulation. But coming out of the, the meeting that I chaired with the case managers last Friday morning, uh, at the end of the meeting, we concurred two things. One, the, 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 the strain of the virus that is in circulation now is more transmissible than the strain that we um, contained last year between March and June, July. So it's more transmissible and it is more deadly. Because when you look at the number of hospitalizations and how the cases present uh, at the emergency room, we can safely say that this strain, this strain is more transmissible and more deadly you know, compared to the strain that was in circulation in the Federation last year. Following the initial circulation, virus mutations have resulted in four main variants. The Alpha variant was first identified in the United Kingdom, the Beta variant originated in South Africa, the Gamma variant was identified in Brazil, and the Delta variant was first seen in India. According to the World Health Organization, the Delta variant is about 50% more transmissible than the other COVID-19 variants, and it has become the dominant strain circulating worldwide. Glenn Barrett reporting for SKN Newsline.